Formatting text means changing its appearance to suit the purpose of the document and to suit your own style. And speaking of someone with uh, style, here's Terry. Hi, Dad. Uh, what's up? I'm kind of busy right now. I know. So am I. I've been thinking about how you asked me to paint those bedrooms. Okay. You remember Tom Sawyer? How he got those other kids to paint that white fence? Wait, don't tell me. You want to get our customers to paint the bedrooms? Yeah, great idea, huh? And why would they do that? Because we'll tell them that famous people slept in those rooms. Like George Washington. Right. That would be a lie. I thought about that, too. We could get some cats, name them after famous people, and have them sleep in the rooms. Uh, like, George Washington slept here. Or Benjamin Franklin. And what if they're female cats? Uh, Martha Washington, Aretha Franklin. Aretha. Whatever. How about Terry Conley painted here? But... Today. Okay. But you never like any of my ideas. That's my job. Okay, as I recall, we were about to format some text. We'll make some enhancements to this brochure text. It's nearly complete, but the appearance is really boring and not laid out very well. We'll start by spicing it up with some text formatting. First, we'll show you the keyboard shortcuts for the most commonly used text enhancement commands, bold, italic, and underline. Their keyboard shortcuts are Control-B for bold, Control-I for italic, and Control-U for underline. Now we'll add some underlined text. We add a blank line and then press Control-U. We type our text. If we were going to continue typing here with text that wasn't underlined, we could press Control U again to turn underlining off. Now we're going to change some existing text by selecting the text first and then choosing a formatting command. To boldface the phrase Le Fleur Award, we first select it. Also, there are buttons on the toolbar for the bold, italic, and underlined commands. We click on the bold button, and the phrase is boldfaced. And to change a single word, we just need the insertion point in it. We click in the word quiet, and then click on the italic button. Notice that the buttons show the status of the text we're in. Also, notice that the style name in the toolbar now shows heading one. This is a paragraph style that Word assigns automatically when you format something that looks like a heading. You'll learn more about paragraph styles in the second course in this series. Now we'll highlight some text with the highlighter, just as you would with a highlighter pen. It's currently set for yellow, but we can change the color if we want. We could select the text first, but we'll click on the button first. The pointer changes to display as a highlighter. Then we select the text we want to highlight, in this case by dragging through it. We're done highlighting, so we can click on the button again to turn it off, or we can press Escape. Next, we'll show you how to change the font face and font size. We'll change the heading to make it stand out. First, we select the text. Then we click on the selected text with the right mouse button. A shortcut menu displays with frequently used commands for selected text. We'll choose font from the menu. When we do, the font dialog box appears. This dialog box gives us lots of options for changing fonts. We can even change font color. From the font face list, we choose a font we like. And from the font size list, we choose a size. The sample box shows how our font choices will look. Notice the default button. You can use it to make the selected font the default font for all your documents. We just want to change the font for the text we selected, so we click on OK, and the font formatting is applied to the selection. Now the heading stands out more. Next, we'll change the font face of the rest of the text. We move the insertion point to where we want the formatting to begin. Then we hold the Shift key and move to the end of the document with Control End. The text is selected. Then we click on the Font button, which displays the same list of fonts as the font dialog box. We'll choose this font. When we click on it, the font is changed.
With these text enhancements, we can make our documents more attractive and professional looking and quickly draw attention to particular parts of the document.